Hello, this is George Senda, the real, official, authentic, original, official, the one, the only, the, the guy from Pittsburgh. Except no cheesy YouTube commentators, imposters, trolls, or phone recorders. And this is Bird Unboxing Live. I've already opened the box because I had to populate the item, but I'll show it to you. It's going to be 96 here in an hour. 90. Eight where Kathy lives, 65 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, rain tomorrow and Monday. But the heat will be gone here as of tomorrow and Kathy Tuesday, and then I'll be down in the 80s or 70s for next week. So, not buying much this month because I've got uh, two other items coming in, one for Kathy for three other items. They won't be here for a while. One for Kathy for Halloween present. I paid off my credit cards, I got to pay the rent, I got to pay the internet bill on Tuesday, I got to pay the phone bill on Tuesday, and then I'll have about 20 bucks left for the month, but I've got my food and, you know, cats, I can charge cat food if I have to, and uh, I've got enough litter for now, so let me... And took the second Slim Fast, and it's like drinking chalk slime. Blech. And by the way, never take the blood pressure pill without water. It dissolves, it's horrible. <laughs> so, and by the way, never take the blood pressure pill without water. It dissolves, it's horrible. All right. Um, I am going to do a little cleaning today when this is over. It's uh, 5.30. Oh, that clock always looks like it's saying 4.30 over there. You ever wonder how many shopping bags you wind up with when you go shopping for groceries? This is one bag. It's all empty bags. All right. We got this yesterday, and it was kind of funny. The Amazon guy came up, and he's go, I yell at him. Go, you all right? Yeah, I say, I'm not yelling at you. I'm yelling at the possum. The baby possum came in here, and I said, get out, possum, and scared the Amazon guy. Okay, this is Frisky Party Mix. And I've already opened one of these to feed the cats. And Mama Cat got some for the first time. So there's that. And I want to tell you, this broke me up when I said, taste your love. No, you won't. <laughs> and it tastes like Melanta. And it today has a metallic taste. So let me get rid of this box. Mail off the Lucky Pharaohs thing thing to the spoofer and the thing to Marty next week. All right, this bag I can reuse for something to put in there. To open nicely, so I'm going to keep that. Got a whole gigantic thing of bubble wrap in the bedroom. All right, here's what I ordered. And this is a credit card wallet. Now it's not leather, it's plastic. But it holds something like 96 cards. And they have one of the business card holders. And I'm going to show you all these. But I had, for years, used my father's wallet. And my other wallet with the key cats, the zippers broke. And I'm always looking for my ID. And so this way, I don't have to constantly look for ID. When I go to the doctor or they want to show my ID when I have a credit card or something. And this has fit every card I have in here. And I can put coupons in here. I have coupons for Allegra. And so, and by the way, I counted. There's three bank cards, ATM cards, Costco card, two Clipper cards. And one, two, three, six, nine credit cards, my food stamp card, my ID card, and then for health insurance, I have nine, ident ten identity cards, my library card, my Safeway Club card, a Ross merchandise card, a Black Angus gift certificate card, and the on my coin dealer, but now I can put this in my backpack, and I was always forgetting my wallet, this is very hefty, 
and I'll put this in the back of my backpack from now on so I don't misplace my wallet all the time. Uh, President Trump tweeted this morning that he's, you know, doing okay and he wants people to pass the stimulus. And our Republican senators have come down with this and Kellyanne Conway, who retired from the White House, has come down with this and whether you're Republican or Democrat or Independent, you don't want anybody to come down with this. I don't want Nancy Pelosi to get it. I don't want Joe Biden to get it. I don't want anybody in our government, past or present, to get this stuff, or anybody. So I hope the President, the First Lady, will recover. The crucial days are on Thursday. That's when it can go into the second stage, and there's either you go to mild or you get worse. And uh, that will affect the market, it will affect the economy, and so I'm praying that uh, the president gets better. And the people that have been infected also get better. And uh, so that's it. Um, I woke up this morning feeling like this, <laughs> and my head hurt. My it's really weird. I woke up with my teeth hurting, and there's no teeth there. I don't know how that happens. So, uh, uh, so I was gonna go back to sleep, but it's a little too warm. So, I'm just gonna. I threw out the stuff for the cat box. I threw up recycling. The drain pies are back. I'll have to deal with that again. I had to have three bottles of Simple Green hanging in the kitchen. So I'm going to do some cleaning. In the I'm going to clean the floor off today. That's my immediate goal. If my back holds up, my back is hurting. Um, Kathy and I will go out on Tuesday to the Spirit Store. You'll see her live. Then we're going to go to Barnes & Noble. Then we're going to go shopping at Food Max. And in George Senda's world, no store would have music playing because it gives you copyright strikes. On YouTube. And the iPad would have a way to shut the microphone off. So, just watch a video where somebody drove over an iPad Pro and the guy fixed it. That was kind of amazing. Look at something. Let's see it. What they did to me. Trying to find out what they get shot me up with at the hospital. Um, doesn't seem to say. I got it around here somewhere. So, anyhow, it's better to get organized medical paperwork and stuff that's floating around and, and that could need to be discarded. Here we go. Let's see, I need more moralizer. Which I lost. Well, that's not it either. Anyway, is anybody in here? Let me see. Nobody here yet. Meet Kevin ran a whole analysis of the progression of the coronavirus, if you get it, or in particular with the emphasis on President Trump. And um, talked a lot about false negatives. 
can be up to 30%, even with the blood test. So they're not exactly accurate. And two of the Senate Judiciary Committee have come down with it. Whoops. <sighs> Watched a video last night on Amazon Prime about Nostradamus. They said he was either a brilliant seer or a con man. <laughs> so, never even called Nostradamus a con man before. And the video had some very bizarre images. Um, still haven't read this. Uh, too much to do. That'd be kind of cool if I get a crossbow. So I'm shooting a crossbow. There's another one here. Let's see. Ah. Here's what they did for me. Echocardiogram, 2D, 2D complete with definity if needed. X-ray chest, AP portable. X-ray knee left and laterally. Ignore the right knee, which is injured. Um, I don't take duo neb, which I don't know what that is. Take one ambulance, nebulization as needed. Okay, that's my nebulizer. Provacid, which I don't take. I take Prilosec. Provacid does not work. More nebulizers, sodium chloride, nasal spray, ocean. I don't know what that is. I missed that one. Creamy and lodipine, that's what I just took for like blood pressure, prednisone, those are gone. And Lipitor. And Spiriva. But I would like to know what they treated me with. Uh, they gave me some injection for blood thinner in the stomach. I didn't say it. I'm going to have to get my own chart. Anyway. Heidi Hody, hello, Rock Crock Rat Raccoon. How you doing? You could have had possum, possum crock butt last <laughs> I don't want it, a little baby possum. But... I'm lying there, and the thing comes running down the hallway. Get out of my apartment, possum. And then during the night, Mama can't. Uh, I fed Mama Cat about 10 o'clock. And about midnight, she comes up wanting more food. And she's got a racket here because I can't turn her down. So I give her a can of wet food. She eats about half it. Fluffy pushes her out of the way, eats some of it. And then she they leave it there. And then about an hour later, I hear this scrabbling of claws. And it's not cat claws. It sounded like Wolverine scraping the concrete. It was either a raccoon or the possum. And the bowl, the, the, the plastic dish was cleaned. I mean, there was nothing left in that dish. So it had to be one of the two. That's why I can't leave dry food out. I don't have a mess, but I got enough. There's a mama raccoon. There's at least, there's a male raccoon. There's... Two baby raccoons. There's a mama possum and two baby possums. And at one time or another, they all come to my front door. It's like the wildlife buffet. No, I ain't going to tickle. I ain't going to. No, uh, raccoons have been known to bite. I'm not sure about the possum. I think the possum is more scared than anything else. The uh, But... Um, I don't want them in here. 
And they, they have been known to tip over. When I used to keep the cat food, I'd bring the food at night, keep it on the edge of the bookcase. The raccoons would re come in, reach up on the bookcase, and pull the food all, and dump it all over the floor. I have to chase them out and then sweep or vacuum up the cat food. So I don't want them in here. I don't want them up here either. I'm not here to provide food for the uh, wildlife population. Uh, I don't have that kind of money. I am here to provide food for the cat population. Now, with my neighbor, when former neighbor gave me a bag of friskies, uh, that helped a lot. So, and by the way, one other problem with this uh, SlimFast is that it makes you burp and it, you also have reflux. Nothing comes up. It, it comes up and then it, there's nothing there, but it, you can taste the slim fast. So it's. Now, I went all day yesterday not eating until about 3 in the morning. And I felt very uneasy for some reason. I don't know why. But I wasn't ravenously hungry like I've been, so it's a good thing. Today I woke up, had my coffee first. Didn't drink all the coffee at once, drank the Slim Fast, then drank coffee, then drank the Slim Fast, then drank coffee. And other than three pickle chips, I just munched on a minute ago. Um, haven't had anything to eat, and it's 5.30, and I woke up around 10.30. So yeah, they say, eat a sensible meal. I don't know. Well, for me, a sensible meal might be 3 o'clock. I, mean, I had kielbasa and then and broccoli, and then later on I ate a uh, uh, a pack of ramen, and I really don't like the seasoning they got. It's too salty. So I'm typing this, and bear with me, please. So I haven't been doing much. I was going to go out today, and I just didn't feel like it this morning. Oh, by the way, um, someone said don't publish your address. Everybody knows what the trolls know where I live. They've been here. I'm not worried about it. Um, yeah, uh, uh, her name is um, Sister Soul, and that's not a turnip behind me. It is a pumpkin. I don't think she gets English very well. Um, There, you know, originally, uh, oddly, originally, the pumpkin in Ireland, they couldn't, they didn't have pumpkins, I think. They used turnips for their trick Halloween. Uh, they would hollow out the turnips with a candle. In it. So she may be right, but you're sure not here. I don't see any big, big yeah, turnip. They, or big turnips or something. I don't remember what they used, but hello, Martin. So uh, I, I seem to re recall that reading one of my books about turnips in Ireland. And uh, watch these two idiots on Amazon Prime. They had kind of an unsolved mysteries, but they were like, ha, 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 ha. and they're, they, were, they think they're funny and they're not. And they did one on the Zodiac Killer, which I am not. The Zodiac Killer was described as heavy set in his 40s with red hair. Didn't apply to me. And the Zodiac Killer knew how to drive. I didn't. The patrols at Sewergam said I was the Zodiac Killer. Which is, he didn't look anything like me. Except for the dark glasses, which I once had. And uh, then they went on to D.B. Cooper and made fun of him. Because the final guy investigating the case retired 
FBI agent said he jumped out of the plane and probably fell to his death, and they were making fun as if he got impaled on a tree, and little squirrel was watching the guy impaled on the tree. Uh, they said his parachutes may not have worked. That was very uh, disconcerting to hear. And then they even made, these two clowns even made fun of the Kennedy assassination. So I don't know where they found these guys. But, uh, well, the Jersey Devil, you know, you may know about that. In Jersey, not England, a creature that jumped over rooftops and fences and left cloven marks across the countryside in Panic, New Jersey. So that's one of my books, too. Lots of strange critters out there, historically. You don't ever see these things in daytime, usually. You see them at night. So, okay, let's go that away. Oh. Okay. That's garbage. That's garbage. Garbage. Going through some stuff. Uh -huh. Now I have an official garbage bag. Hello, dear lady. So, if someone wants to donate, it would be appreciated because I'm going to be broke for Halloween. Cabbage present will be coming. A computer related item will be coming. And, uh, I saw a cool video today for those in the Retro Max about a um, G4 Cube and the guy put a new CPU in, he upgraded the memory or something and he uh, put something else, and I haven't watched it all yet, and he modified it to put flashing LED lights in it, which would be cool. Now, if I were to do anything with the Mac, I would have somebody Dremel out the black Apple logo on the front. That's about where the microphone is. And Dremel out the back and ha go back, have somebody make me up a plastic see-through original Apple color logo and have that light up and flash. And maybe underneath, let me see here. Yeah, there would be enough. If you cut a square, a, a, a rectangle underneath it, you could maybe have an LED or two of them, two lines. If I were to do this, there's enough room. It's all in the front of the Mac. It's, there's nothing there. It's empty space. I would put a rectangular LED and have it have the date, the time, the weather. And then underneath have the CPU temperature, the fan speed, and the clock speed of the computer. Well, I don't go on rumors, uh, and certainly not on Twitter. <laughs> um, they moved him to Walter Reed because he, he, he can get far better treatment at Walter Reed than in the White House. White House is not really a medical facility. They have a doctor's office there. But it's not really geared for isolation, whereas Walter Reed is. And as one who went to Walter Reed and stayed there for a year, the original Walter Reed Hospital. The Army has, the Army is a not only, uh, let's rephrase this. Doctors in the Army are doctors, but they're also training doctors. In San Francisco, at Letterman Army Hospital, they had doctors from UCSF, they had interns who were still learning how to be doctors. And the same goes for Walter Reed. They may come from uh, various, hospitals around the area. They're in the Army. Some of them come in from hospital to, to learn. It's a teaching hospital as well. So you get the best medical care in the world from the Army and the President. They have a White House wing there. It's geared for all Presidents. Obama, Clinton. Uh, when the President becomes ill or need, needs to be taken care of, they put him in the White House wing. So they can far better treat him there than the White House. So I'm not concerned about that. Uh, I didn't play in the White House. I was in the White House as a tourist, but I was also in the White House in 19, 
61, my mother, she took some paperwork from Raul E. Desjardins to President Kennedy, and I got to meet the President of the United States in the Oval Office. I was all of nine, and uh, wish I had thought of somebody, hey, take a picture of me with the President. Of course, I, my mother would have had that, and I would have it today, so it never occurred to me to be nine years old. It would have been cool. I like President Kennedy very much and was stunned and almost killed when he died because I was marching under a column of twos of M1s as we were practicing for the Thanksgiving Day Parade and I was the guy to go run the gauntlet and when they announced the loudspeakers on my military school parade ground the president had been shot all the well-trained uh, cadets lost it and did not catch their rifles and they were up in the air and I was in the middle with 24 rifles flying down to the ground and uh, I looked I didn't get killed so uh, yeah well you know um, football is not the same for me because of politicization and there's there's not new lights there uh, I put the Charmander there I put the the duck who fell down, uh, he doesn't squeak. This is the bathtub duck. It's a little dusty. Everything gets dusty in here. The bathtub duck. I, I found this somewhere. I wish it squeaked. Put him up there. And uh, he didn't want to stay up there. Though. And I put a charge right up there. And the Halloween cat, vampire cat. And this other thing, this is how I feel every morning. My coffee dog. The coffee dog. This is how I feel. <laughs> Do not mess with George until he's had his coffee. And you, I got this years ago, and I've kept this. And uh, the coffee dog. Let's see. God, I've had this since 1989. Grimmy. It's Grimmy the coffee dog. So, so where the coffee dog? And a, the Halloween uh, candy corn bear. Now I put him in there. Now I can't. Uh, anyway, now something else just fell down. I don't know what that is. Oh yeah, this one. Everything I got in here. This shelf. One day I hope to have a big rack behind me and everything can be properly taken care of on oh, this thing. This one is always the problem, child. It doesn't always want to light up. Or it disconnects from me. That's bad. Oh, there it goes. Alright. And the Halloween house. I can remember to turn all these off and I'm done. <clears throat> Ooh. Okay. Well, I, I think that um, Biden had to do that. It would have been very tacky him him have attack ads attacking Trump when Trump is in, in, theoretically in danger of dying. It's not done. So, and I don't think Trump would have attacked Biden either. Now, I have some LED lights. And when I get the proper things, I'm going to take down the pirate flag uh, today. I would like to have some LED lights running up there that would flash. But you got to, this thing doesn't, things don't stick very well to the wood. Uh, who won the debate? I think neither one. I think Trump made points. I think Biden made points. But if I'd been there, I would have had a mask on and I would have had one of those long hooks of vaudeville and pulled them both off there and uh, had the hook shake them by the neck and said, you guys need to behave. You're acting like little kids. And I know little kids are better. Oh, uh, how this will play out. Well, that's the problem. It, it's really hard to predict what a disease will do to you. And... This thing is pernicious. It, you can recover. 
or you can get sick and die. There's there's two way. It's the fork in the road. And on Thursday will be the date the doctors have said that, and the press was trying to press them on did Trump get supplementary oxygen? The doctor wouldn't answer that. And some ways it's maybe none of their business. And just a moment. We have a news flash. We have a fuzzy. Oh, it's getting fatter and fatter by the minute. We have a fuzzy. Yes, a fuzzy. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm not a... Usually write-ins that are not on the ballot get thrown out. So that would be a useless vote. You, I know you may not care for Mike Pence, but the alternative is Joe Biden and the ultra-left, the most left senator in the, in, in the Congress, the uh, Kamala Harris. She want to vote for Pence is the lesser of two evils. Um, and, well, first of all, uh, the... People in the army get champus. That's how my medical care was paid for. Because my dad was in the army, and when he went in the army, they promised him medical care for life for enlisting. So it's a benefit when you enlist in the army, and it's a trade-off. You enlist in the army, they give you medical care, and you may lose a leg, an arm, get shot, or die. Well, there are there's discussion on there on the internet that she's the most leftist senator in the Congress. So so you get the medical care. They also promised veterans when they enlisted in 19, my dad enlisted in 1937, they would get free medical care at the VA for life. That didn't always work out. So uh oh, Michael Moore is doing something. He's been blasted on Western Journal. So um but remember, we all get socialized medicine in a sense. Anyone, whether they have money or not, can go to any emergency room in the country and get treatment for free. That's in the law. And don't, so don't criticize me for doing it. And there's a thing people pay into every time they work. I'm going to hide my number here. I'm going to do this. Hold on. You pay in the Medicare, and you pay into Social Security, and your employer pays in the Medicare and Social Security and state disability and income tax. So you pay for that socialized medicine when you work for a living. <laughs> Tiny red car. I used to have a little red convertible, a Pontiac Sunbird. I miss the hell out of it. Well, there are, um, if you claim poverty, you say, I have no money. You walk in there, your ID, and say, I have no money. I have no job. There's no way for them to check. I'm not saying you should do this. But they, they do a check on your income, maybe. Maybe they do a credit check. They didn't do one on me, but I have Medicare. So I don't know what they do to someone who's un un under 65. Kathy's 64. Next year, she gets Medicare. She worked. She paid into it. And remember, Social Security is socialism, too. That was started by the Germans in the Weimar, in, not in the Weimar, part, under Bismarck. So give money to old people when they can no longer work. Uh, she worked security. And um, uh, other jobs. But someone has to pay for it somehow. But I still have my I still have some of my check checking stubs from my paychecks, so I paid into it. So anybody that gives me this garbage that's uh, coming out of their wallet, uh, it's coming out of their pocket as a liar. By the way, I'm going to show you some. Uh, if the mad spoofer comes in there, do not watch this portion of the video. 
Let me go get this. I, I wish they'd had more than one of these. Ugh, just a moment. I do. I do. And by the way, to those who say they cannot afford to donate to the channel, this is a week's worth of bottles of the year I have consumed or have found while cat feeding. And the haters hated it that I sent the mad spoofers cat, cat items, which the cat will get more, but this is for the mad spoofer. This is the Halloween skeleton. And I hope I can find another one of these. Because this would be truly cool. All right, here we go. I felt a little guilty being to have cats, but... No, do not send me bottles and cans. Donations, gift cards. Yeah, it vibrates. Didn't you just see that? The tail vibrates. And the cat is telling you to donate. <laughs> so that will go off next week. But then we had one. That's another reason why I want a car. We go out and look for Halloween stuff, and we can't. No, I'm not going to see Borat 2. I didn't see Borat 1. I don't go see stupid movies. Cat Eagle goes see stupid movies. Uh, first of all, I don't pay taxes. I'm on Social Security income. It's not taxed. But that's an entitlement. I work for it. I'm fully disabled. No, I got no pension. I never worked a job where I got a pension. I got one week of vacation every two years from one job and i got two weeks of vacation from one job that's the only benefits ever i i companies are cheap they don't want to pay benefits at least the ones i work for i'm not going to be wearing any costume for halloween because i can't afford it uh i paid uh my bills and i paid on let's see what did I pay here? Capital One, Reflex, two cards, Amazon, uh, and, uh, hold on, where the hell is it? Hmm. I'm missing cards here. Hold on. Uh, hmm. Oh, Credit One, two card, one card. So, and uh, Tuesday, I'll be making a payment to Target. No, I'm not going to go and uh, abuse animals. Thank you. I'm not going to do Joe. That guy is in prison. So don't even suggest that. I'm going to remove that comment. because I don't approve of that at all. I take care of uh, nine cats every day. I don't hurt kitties or animals. I like animals. So, um, and the guy who did Borat is think, doing, thinking of doing some other movie. And I don't know, but I, I have no interest in seeing. I think they're both important. No, we don't mention, we don't mention his name on this channel. I'm not going to, uh, he is an enemy of this channel. I'm not attacking you, Brandy, but it is a forbidden name. Uh, I have nothing to do with the man. I made a call to him two years ago. We talked for an hour. I thought we had resolved all differences, but he has a legion of trolls that go and disrupt my chat and attack me and come and leave vile comments. I don't know anything to do with the man. I have nothing against him personally, except that he won't get off my back 
So I want both because if you get the Democrats in, they're going to pack the court and we're going to have chaos in this country. Economic chaos. Uh, Trump tried to get Biden to say law and order. He refused. He said something about law enforcement and justice, which means economic justice. And the California legislature, they just passed a bill. It's going to go to Gavin Newsom to give slavery reparations. Now, this puzzles me because in 1850 or so, whenever California became a state, California would please stop, please stop typing for a minute. California, now I'll explain that situation in a moment. California was a free state. There were no slaves in this state. There were no slaveholders in this state. And no one, um, no one who was a slave, who owned slaves, is alive today. Uh, California elected Ronald Reagan, they elected Pete Wilson, but the problem is California has a lot of illegal aliens who vote. The constant uh, lie that Hillary Clinton won the popular vote is not true. They did a study after the 2016 election and found out that a number of the votes in California were passed by illegal aliens who aren't supposed to vote anyway. So, well, you, did, you weren't a slave, Carlo. You don't get reparations. You have to have been in a, a, a uh, have been a descendant of slaves. And as for 22 million will lose their insurance, that's absolute nonsense. Trump has said repeatedly that even uh, uh, Amy Barrett is not liable to, even if they throw out the ACA, Trump has said people with pre-existing conditions will continue to get treatment and the, the uh, Obamacare insurance was a disaster. People saw their premiums go up 900%. They couldn't afford medical care anymore. So, you know. And do we pay for the crimes of people long dead in perpetuity, much like affirmative action? Do people get preferential treatment and hiring in schools in perpetuity for 400 years, 500 years, 600 years, a thousand years. Much like you blame the Germans for Nazism for all time. Not the German people that are old and are going to pass on, but the current generation of Germans who weren't even born then. Republicans have no health care plan, but the point, the point with that is that they can't get anything done without Democrat co cooperation, and the two leaders who are blocking the stimulus are Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer. They're not going to do anything. Well, of course you're equal to white people. I don't care what color you are. I don't care if you're brown. I don't care if you're yellow. I don't care if you're Polynesian, uh, Pacific Islander, Asian, white, black. If you're a good and decent person, fine. If you're a jerk, I'm going to call you a jerk, but I'm going to say, that black jerk, that Chicano jerk, that Asian jerk, no. Unless he, somebody does something wrong, I'm going to, uh, and they make a point of it in the news story, this guy was an Asian or a black, then I'm going to say he's black. That's a matter of fact. That's not a racial thing. Uh, Kellyanne Conway, uh, is the only one. Three senators came down with it at the Amy Barrett meeting, and the president of Notre Dame. But that guy, uh, he's clueless. He was hugging. He was shaking hands and hugging, and as were some of the senators. So, I don't have white privilege, lady. You know what? I've been passed over for for jobs because of affirmative action, and I live on nine forty two a month. So I don't have. How do I hell do I have white privilege? You know what? Get out of here. Goodbye. Tired of that BS. If I had white privilege, I'd be living in a mansion somewhere. No, and it's not a hoax. 
I didn't have swabs up my nose three times and tested for, for MRSA just because just they wanted to waste a couple of Q-tips. Those things hurt. It's not a hoax. We've had major members of entertainment, singers, poets in this country and elsewhere die from this. The premier of the UK and the premier of uh, the, the president of Brazil got this. Not a hoax. That's nonsense. I'm going to remove that comment too. There's very few people, there's very famous people that have died in this, and 200,000 Americans have died. Well, look, the Democrats have done this before. Obama put out of, out of session uh, people as diplomats and got slapped down by the courts. If the Democrats were in power, and uh, they would do it. So uh, I can't tell you when. I just know that Obama got slapped down by the Supreme Court. You can't have recess appointments and appoint someone when Congress is not in session. Mitch McConnell has changed his tune, but you remember for months he blocked every effort to have stimulus or compromise with the with the Democrats. Neither, neither, and Nancy Pelosi will do do the same. She still insists. If you watch Meet Kevin, you need to watch Meet Kevin's video. But he's very, very intelligent. And uh, okay, uh, that's not going to be acceptable. Um, you get a timeout. Well, you know what? The Democrats uh, character assassin Robert Bork, it's now called Bork, they went after Kavanaugh and they're going to go after, they can't go after Amy Barrett as much because she has a, a fine record in law school, a fine record on the court, and they already confirmed her as a judge, but they'll find a way to character assassinate her. They said uh, recently, Diane Feinstein's not up to it. The woman needs to retire. And Kamala Harris, who is still a seated senator, will probably go after her. So, I haven't checked out Mars. I haven't checked out the Harvest Moon. When I went out last night, the moon is still covered in soot. <laughs> it's blocked and it's orange. So, well, Merrick Garland is not on the court. It's a moot point. He was not confirmed. Amy Barrett is the person up for confirmation. She probably will be confirmed. And Biden will not say if he was, if he would become president, if he would try to pack the court. Remember, FDR tried to pack the court. The American people are against it, and they've done polls of the current Americans, and they too are against it. So, ain't gonna happen. There's another book I haven't read yet. <laughs> so, mm, good. And after December, this will get repaired. This will finally go in for repair. I'm so happy. Huh. Well, that's not true. There have been polls saying they want the seat filled. I don't know what polls you're reading. But anything that is done by CNN, NBC, ABC, CBS, or PBS, and a few other sites is suspect because they tend to lean them toward heavily Democrat poll, polls on the phone. They only poll a thousand people, and with three hundred some thousand, three hundred twenty-eight million people in this country, they're not polling a representative uh, number of people of the populace. And they tend to pull back on the West Coast and the East Coast. Yeah, uh, she was right, <laughs> but the point is that's not a turnip. <laughs> it's a pumpkin. 
Rasmussen. Rasmussen has been very accurate over the years. Yeah, she's very nice, just a little bit uh, hard to figure out with her use of language. But um, she she may be at work. Okay, we're not going to pack the cord either. So uh, that's not going to happen. Whoops. Hold on. I, I accidentally got the wrong message here. Uh, so don't start by packing the cord. I don't know. I haven't figured out what she does. She just says she goes to work and her hands hurt. I'm not going to go into conjecture that. No, I'm... You're starting to annoy me, Buzz. Polls have to be accurate. And anything done by a leftist news organization, as I just mentioned, is always suspect. The Quinnipiac poll, there's some other ones. I can't... One reason I want my other iPad is I can look things up while I'm doing this. One reason I want the other Mac to be repaired is I can look things up while I'm doing this. And I can have a Mac sitting here and a Mac sitting here, and I could go over to the other Mac and look up things. I don't like to go do things from memory because uh, sometimes I'm wrong. I like to have facts. And if I had the stupid... Um, Kindle, Amazon Fire, I could look that up. It doesn't work. Because they're, they're it's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. All of their apps expire after so long. You have to reinstall them, and I haven't figured that out. And I, the nearest Amazon store with computers is in Berkeley. I'm not going to go all the way to Berkeley and have a whole day trip on that. But the polls are inaccurate. Look at the polls in the 2016 election. Every one of them except for Rasmussen and one political commentator got it dead right we're saying Hillary Clinton will win in the landslide they had Hillary up 10 points 12 points 15 points in states that she lost the 2018 polls were also off they said the Republicans would take the house that didn't happen I don't care about what Ruth Bader Ginsburg said or not Buzz you're out of here Okay, I'm going to put you to time out. I was against Ruth Bader Ginsburg on every decision she's made. I'm a conservative. She was an ultra leftist liberal judge and a bit of a nut. She stayed there only for one reason. She didn't want Trump to appoint a conservative if she died. I predicted Trump to win, too, in June of 2016, or July. Well, we have them saying that he's losing in Michigan, he's losing in Wisconsin, he's losing in Minnesota, he's losing in Pennsylvania, he's losing in Ohio, he's, he's losing in Florida, and yet the guy you've got to watch is a guy named Red Eagle. I think that's his name. And he does analysis. He's done analysis of what happens if Trump would run against um, Bernie. What would happen if Trump ran against uh, Elizabeth Warren? What happened if Trump would run against Obama? He does hypothetical polls. He does who's going to win in the Senate, who's going to win in the House. He's very red eagle politics, red eagle politics. And he also runs down all these polls and says which ones are accurate and which ones are slanted. And that's my, that's my thing. And the other guy that's wrong, <laughs> the other guy that's consistently wrong, and it always used to crack me up, is Newt Gingrich, who would come out with his chalkboard, and he'd be wrong all the time. I don't go to betting markets, because that's like popularity polls. Anybody can bet for anything. Someone can put bet on me if I became famous enough. When is George Senda going to quit doing videos? Or when is George Senda going to fall down next or uh, uh, lose his wallet? <laughs> you know, uh, betting markets are silly. 
The only betting I've ever paid attention to was somebody bet years ago we would land on the moon, and he bet and London Bookie had made a ton of money. That's the only one I remember. As I do women's rights, when you consistently vote far left and you overturn court decisions, I'm against it. I'm not against I'm not for voting uh, all conservative either. I want something in the middle. But these people on the left, they do not adhere to a strict interpretation of the Constitution. They try to change society with judicial de decisions. And no one asks them to. I don't think a divided court is good at all. I, I want a, a nine to zero decision every time if possible. And you are never going to get that with Ruth Bader Ginsburg. And the other thing you're not going to get is Justice Roberts. He was brought in as conservative. He sided with the liberals more often than not. And he's the one that refused to throw out Obamacare and the tax provision, where you had to be taxed to pay for Obamacare. That was wrong, too. There are a lot of decisions that this court has done that have been wrong. Oh, for God's sakes. You know, that's so stupid to say that Trump can define socialism. Marxism, socialism, progressivism, they're all the same thing. Oh, and let's not forget the ever popular communism. The American Communist Party changed their name to progressive because they do the American people who do not did not tolerate communism. Now it's a different different uh, kettle of fish because now somebody on the left are avowed Marxists and communists. No, I don't. I don't think we're not going to call them broads, and we're not going to make them stay at home. So I'm going to remove that comment and put you in a timeout. That's not acceptable behavior. You know, Frank Sinatra sang about broads, but that was in a context of a song at a different time. You don't call women broads anymore. A couple of broads went down the street. That's just not done. Uh, a lot of men are staying at home and taking care of the kids because they're unemployed right now. Same with the women. And they can't, they can't get child care. Go look up FDR. 1936. He wanted to move. He wanted to have 12, 12 um, justices, and that was defeated in the Congress. And the American people said, "We don't want you to pack the court." That's what they call packing the court. You had you modify the Constitution to make more justices, and then you appoint justices that are on your side. And FDR was a middle of the road. Democrat. No, that that you have fifteen seats in 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 um, banana republics and and in communist governments they have fifteen justices. You don't want that many. You can't get a consensus with fifteen people. And you can't really, you can't get it with six. I mean, we have 12 people vote. We have 12 people giving verdicts in cases, civil and, and criminal cases. And you can't get 12 people over. You're going to have 15. No, we're not in a bad public yet. But if Biden and Kamala get in, we are going to be headed that way if we're not already. Uh, she is... She was not feeling well herself. She bought some pudding. No, she bought some pudding that was hideous. And then she bought some cottage cheese, nude some, which may have been bad. I always get cottage cheese in the back because you don't know if someone's put it back on the shelf or it's been left on a counter somewhere or whatever. But she got some cottage cheese, and that made her sick to her stomach, so she's better now. So she's feeling okay. So... Uh, But, you know, banana republics, 
it, I think Italy has a lot of judges. Countries in Europe have a lot of judges. I know the communists have courts with a lot of judges, and uh, they always call them people's court when they have nothing to do with the people. It's an authoritarian court. So you don't want 15 judges. Uh, she loves the TV. It's wonderful. Of course, I want to get a Sony. I have on my wish list <laughs> a 55-inch and a 65-inch LG and a 55-inch and a 65-inch Sony, but I don't know if it would fit in my living room. And after my uh, CAT scan on my head and my knee, I'll be going up there and putting in, connecting the Wii and helping her out. She pulled a drawer out of the dresser and can't get the drawer back in, so i got to help her out with that. I don't know what an A9F is. Sounds like an airplane. <laughs> and now the new fighter bomber for World War II is an A9F. You know. But um, we used to have F as our designation for fighters. Of course, if I got enough money, I'd have, you know, giant... I'd have a whole goddamn wall. <laughs> With a TV. I mean, the entire wall would be the TV. Well, I think the flagship for Sony, if you have the 100 grand, is their Magnolia uh, 8K. But I don't have that kind of money. I'm a little short this month. I've seen it. It's awesome. And uh, the 4K at Costco is $750. Sony. The 8K is, four, uh, there's an LG 8K for 4000 Yeah, please, let's get away from politics. I wasn't even discussing this. I don't know how to go on the subject of the Supreme Court. I think there will be a violence on Election Day if Trump wins. Hell, there may be violence on Election Day if Biden wins. Who knows with this crowd of our, our leftists what they'll do. I will say one thing, you don't see conservatives going out and burning down stores and looting, and we're staying at home. And a lot of the protesters are not wearing masks, they're not social distancing, and yet we haven't heard anything about how many of them are getting sick. And Governor Sisolak of Nevada was concerned about uh, the people here having this rally and they're going to come down with COVID. One guy came down with COVID. Oklahoma, one guy came down with COVID in the Trump rally. Well, um, oh, she. Yeah, I forgot. Chris Gritzy came out positive. And he's in big trouble because he's heavier than I am, proportionally. He looks heavier. He's in big trouble. Thank you for that news. I don't consider... Uh, people who got guns and attack protesters to be conservative. I think they're ultra right wing nuts. But then we also have seen leftists come out with guns and attack peaceful people as well. So there's there's craziness on both sides. I don't th no the Proud Boys are not. Uh, first of all, they are not white supremacists. <laughs> Happen with Latinos. From Miami, I, I, I heard an interview with one of them, and he said, and the guy was a black Cuban, and he was really objecting to calling us white white uh, white radicals, but white uh, supremacists because we're not white, and we're not uh, supremacists. So um, I hear these things that go in one or the other, out the other. I'm doing things, I'm lying down, or whatever. So I don't get to follow up on it. So let's hope Chris Christie recovers and doesn't die from the crud. Now, anyone in this channel had said that the hoax, if Chris Christie has gone to the hospital, then how can it be a hoax? They're not going to stick him in a hospital just to, to take up a hospital bed. There's other people that are sick and need the hospital bed. They're not going to have fake patients. I have it on you. Oh my God, an hour already. 
by the way, another channel you might want to watch. It's fun to watch. Jacob's Life in Vegas. He does live walks to Las Vegas. That's not nice. I don't know how many beds he takes up. I talked to someone back east. They, she said they actually um, really don't like Chris Christie and said he screwed the state up. So, Okay, Roy, that's ridiculous. I'm going to remove that, you know. Okay. You were on here. How did you miss the showing of it? All right, this is the red wallet. I tried pointing at the Mac, which is good dumb. And I'm not going to show all my credit cards, but no, it's not the pirate stream. And this has all my ID and cards in it. So I no longer have to search for my identification, my credit cards, my transit cards, and all of that. And this holds about this old 96 cards. So if you had 96 credit cards, you could. And I was always misplacing my small wallet. Couldn't see it, couldn't find it. This was nine bucks on Amazon. And they have one for business cards. I'll get that next. I wish they, I thought it was kind of weird. They have two, two class through, but only one button. I may have to get a grommet puncher and put a grommet in here so it stays a little more secure. But now I don't have to search my credit card. And I'm not sure it's going to stay well enough. But that's the new wallet. No, you, you don't want that. You want binders. When I collected baseball, I had binders with nine things to a page. And that was a waste of money because you never get what you pay for those baseball cards. Particularly some years where the baseball cards are effectively, you, you can buy the entire top series, the entire clear, and whatever else of that year. It'll be absolutely, in the 80s, I bought baseball cards. And they're absolutely worthless. So... No, everything. I red's my favorite color, so that's why I have red. That's why this is red. That's why this is red. That's why I have Charmander and Charizard and Charmeleon. Well, remember, it's not just for credit cards. All right. I'm going to open this up for a minute. Costco card. Clipper card. Trump Pence membership card. Bank of America ATM. Capital One ATM. Travis Credit Union ATM. Capital One credit card. Reflex card. Two of them. Credit One card. Three of them because I'm an authorized user on Kathy's account and one other account. Amazon.com. Target Red card. Merit Bank card. My, uh, um, um, I can never what they call this thing. It used to be food, SNAP, SNAP program card, my California ID, my Clipper uh, regional trans connection uh, handicap card, which gives me lower price on traveling to the city and BART and the bus. Anthem Blue Cross, I have two of them. I'm not sure which one I should have. Medicare, I have two of them. Another two Anthem Blue, Care, Blue Cross State of California Medi-Cal card, implant identification cards for my eye, left and right eye for the glass cataract, uh, silver script for prescriptions, which you get when you're on Medicare. My mother had it. She paid in the system, too. Safeway Club card, Contra Costa Library card, a Ross $10 coupon, a uh, Black Angus $15 coupon, and the business cards, my coin dealer, and a $3 Allegra coupon, one of the several that are floating around here like the fund. So. Uh, don't allow, don't allow other channels to be posted in here, and I don't like Dave Schrader anyway, so. Actually, I'm authorized on 
see. One, well, not all very good. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five accounts. Maybe six. I think I'm a, five or six accounts. So. No, paranormal radio is fine, but it's it's considered spam if you give other people's other people's channels. I don't like Dave Schroeder. I don't like anybody on Coast to Coast AM on the weekend except for um, George Knapp. And, of course, John B. Wells, I like him, but they kicked him off because they couldn't stand him. They conserved him on there. They fired him. And George is not a George Nori is not a conservative by any means, as far as I've been able to determine. Now. I can't figure out George's politics, but I can't stand Dave Schrader. People keep coming in me and watch, tell me to watch Joe Reagan, and somebody said Joe Reagan should moderate the next debate. Well, Joe Reagan is not on a network, and now they have the next debate moderator. He worked for Joe Biden. He clerked for Joe Biden when Joe Biden was in the Senate. He's in the tent. He got a big sign at the beach that he's all for Biden. That's really an impartial moderator for a debate, not. If I had somebody to moderate the debate, I would have Mark Levin, who is a conservative, but he's brilliant and he would be fair to both sides. And if you really want to get wild, put Michael Savage on there. <laughs> and you want to go completely out off the deep end and have Alex Jones moderate the debate. That would be absolutely crazy. The left would go nuts. And I was really annoyed that nobody had said anything about the stimulus and why. Mr. Biden, do you support checks for the people? Do you support PPP? Do you support help for the unemployed? Do you support food stamp aid? Do you support uh, aid for those who cannot pay their rent and endanger eviction? That's the question. I would have wanted some of those in there. No, I'm not going to open a George dating service. Um, anything I try to do online that's in the way of uh, a website, the trolls attack. So I'm not going to do anything like that anything like that. Uh, I tried to start several venues. I had the Art Bell Hope shirt. They removed saying it was uh, done in copyright violation or without permission of the Art Bell family when it was had the permission of Art Bell when he was alive. They got that removed. I only sold about six shirts. Never made a profit. And uh, they have taken pictures of me and Kathy, and one guy um, took pictures of me and Kathy, edited them, and was selling shirts on, which is illegal under federal and California law. You have to have permission of the person to do a shirt. So anything I try to do as a money-making venture, they, they will tell people it's a fraud, it's a con. The alien con fund... They blew that out of the water, and uh, we never got the donations. We should have, so Curtis Thornton and I. Well, I'm not going to call Karen Jackson. And I don't know that I talked to, I called Karen Jackson, or someone saying she was Karen Jackson. So I don't intend to call Karen Jackson. I'm not going to tell you what I intend to do and what I am not intend to do. But I will deal with that at the appropriate time. But they did fraudulently remove the shirt because I had, I don't have them anymore when I cleared out my email. I had the permission of Art Bell in an email, you can have the shirt. I showed them the design. And that design was not even created by me. It was created by a guy on eBay, and it's still being sold on other sites. I saw the shirt the other day. I can buy the shirt right now from another site. It says Art Bell, and it says, it's, it's got a picture of Art, and it says Hope in the bottom a copy of the Obama Hope shirt, and a guy is selling that on a site. Nobody went after them and took it down, but they went after me. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Nobody does lamp oil anymore. Or very little. How can you... 
I haven't seen a bottle of lamp oil in 20 years. <laughs> and we don't know if this was a legitimate thing or not, because they could have gone after the site I was on and said it's violating the rights of the estate, and the estate knew nothing about it. I don't know if Karen Jackson, I called you on the phone, is the real Karen Jackson or not. But I'm not going to tell my plans. I'm not going to telegraph things like the president does. And also, we don't... Uh, the Mennonites and Amish are not allowed on this channel. Long-standing restriction. We do not discuss those because all we get is Mennonite and Amish talk. Do not bring them up. I've had lamps that use lamp oil. Hurricane lamps. No, no, no Amish. No Amish. Do not discuss the Amish. All right. It's not allowed. And I doubt, I doubt they're map oil people. All right, you get a timeout. I just told you not to discuss the Amish. You come and discuss the Amish. No, it's not that. I had a discussion one night that they came in and it was all Amish talk and Mennonite talk. And it wouldn't stop. Just like they started with Wee Bowling. We don't allow Wee Bowling talk in this channel. And hockey talk. I thought you were a hockey channel. The trolls put out on some news site that I, I was a hockey channel. I'm not a hockey puck either. <laughs> so, I have to have, you know, I, I wish that I may, I wish there were a way I could post it. I should post to my the guy from Pittsburgh Paranormal News one. Um, here are the rules to my chat. I should do that, print it out or, or on the screen, but a lot of people don't go to that. I've had five, 6,000 people go to that set forum and I got a lot of members tried to join that were trolls. Not a matter, they're not doing me wrong, crap, but I just got tired of the chat being hijacked by dozens of lines about the Amish. I'm from Pennsylvania. The Amish live in Lancaster. The Amish live in Ohio. The Mennonites, I don't know where the hell they live. They don't really care. I have nothing against the Amish, but I don't want every word in the chat for 30 lines talking about the Amish. Or Amish, or however the hell you pronounce it. This is supposed to be back and forth chat. You don't come in and monopolize it. And trolls will do that to keep other people from commenting. This is why I don't allow it. It's not to be mean. It's because nobody else can discuss anything. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know what Abraham Lincoln drove. I know he had carriages when he was in the White House, but... And a lot of the young Amish are quitting. They're leaving the sect and they're because they want technology, they want the internet, they want radios, they want cars. And they're tired of st sitting there for hours churning butter by hand. They want all the convenience of the modern society. For good or for bad. And I've asked in the past for people to donate, and it never happens. Oops. Now, as for... I'm discussing why we don't talk about them. So we don't mention them by name. We don't discuss what they do. I don't care if they have a one-horse carriage, a two-horse carriage. They're pulling a wagon. They got beer in the wagon. They got pretzels in the wagon. I don't care when I hear about the Amish and the Mennonites. Because it disrupts the chat. 
I also want to allow racist comments, sexist comments. It's not allowed. Nothing personal, but link it on the list here. Back up the list. There's dozens of comments, and what you know, people get timed out or the things get deleted because people are saying the wrong things. But when people discuss something like jack o' lanterns, or that's fun. I went fun in here. I don't want to. Uh, Spam. I don't want 40 and 50 comments on Wee Bowling. I don't want 40 or 50 comments on the Amish and the Mennonites. It's not interesting. Eventually, that sect will die out. Both of them. And when I get too much of this, my stomach starts hurting. And I feel that's another reason I don't like doing live chat because they get aggravated. Well, you know what? Um, after nine years, and uh, hold on, I'm going to leave the chat on the Mac for a minute. And these are not accurate because of the analytics being wrong. They're always off because YouTube is off for as much as a year or more. All right, 998,421 views so far, which means I'm 1,579 views away unofficially from a million views. My estimated revenue is 1,371.98. That's never happened. And it says here, underreported for some dates, December 19, 2018, there have been others. I get about 7,000 views a month, but other people in live chat get hundreds of dollars a day in live chat. In donations, sometimes thousands. And it does take time and effort and money to do this channel. It's not just me sitting here, me getting equipment, me getting cameras, which I've bought, mice, this to keep the iPad charged when I do a live video away from the house, this device to give me internet anywhere. That all costs money and it all comes out of my pocket. That's why I asked for donations. And people seem to have this problem with that, which they shouldn't have if they're a supporter of this channel. They're a supporter of channel. I have a lot of anguish and troll. I've had trolls predict my death. I'm going to stroke out. And I don't get started on the troll subject. Just slanderous, libelous commentary from people that don't know me. When I leave this thing, they don't have anything, not that I'm aware of. The, the uh, 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 Martinez Police Department is two blocks away. So, I'm a Pirates fan. Yeah, in 2001, Trolls from another site that I was the conservative co-moderator of the discussion board, you're going to stroke out. You're going to have a heart attack. You're going to die at any minute. You weigh 600 pounds, all right? And, that's, and on and on and on. It never stopped. It hadn't stopped for 19 years. I'm from the pit, I'm from Pittsburgh. I like the Oakland A's. I haven't been following them. I'm not following baseball. I'm not following basketball. I don't, fo I, I, I don't follow basketball. 
I'm not following hockey except for two teams, the Penguins and the Sharks, and I haven't looked this year at all. And football, the same thing, because they politicize football. I don't play fantasy football. I don't have the money, and I don't have the time to research this stuff. I was bullied as a kid. I was beat up as a kid until I finally said enough and went after one of my chief bullies. And uh, he stopped, and then he went, came to my defense and said, if you mess with him, you mess with me. I had it. Kathy was making fun of my name today, and I told her to knock it off. That's not funny. Not my first name, my middle name, which is George. I hate my first name. No, I don't think Trump's a bully. Trump can do talk bully-like commentary, but I think Trump won't put up with any crap from people. He's not going to put up with slander and lies about him. Russian collusion, lie. Hookers in Moscow, lie. They just have evidence that come out that Hillary Clinton did all this to keep people from investigating her 32,000 deleted emails. That's the whole point of this. It was not, they were trying to do everything to Trump to hide their own duplicity. Same with Hunter Biden, that Biden wouldn't talk about his son. Oh, it's not fair to go out to my son. Why? Your son gets three and a half million dollars for, for no expertise in the power industry. Plus, he got more money from China. The kid's a millionaire, and when Trump said, your son was a drug addict, he got kicked out of the military because he was doing drugs. I think he was doing pot. I don't know. My first name's Anthony, but I hate it. There's reasons why. I'm not going to say what Kathy said, but she started making fun of my name, and I said... Uh, it's the name derivative from Greek. Uh, George means farmer or tiller of the soil. And I said, knock it off. She wouldn't stop. She gets that way sometimes. She just won't stop. And I said, it's not funny. And I've been teased by my middle name too. So I love Kathy very much, but I'm not going to put up with that. And she goes on and on. She wants up. Now, I teased her, too. And I go across the line at times, and she gets upset about it. And I apologize. But in her case, I like to poke fun at her. Because she gets so upset, it's not meant to be mean. Um, but also, I, I have a bit of an evil mind when it comes to Kathy when we're on the phone. And things come out of my brain, and I have to say it. And uh, she asked me about my middle name and a reference to the character from A Mice of Men. And then she interrupts me. And I said, look, you've got to not interrupt me. I'm trying to teach her. Don't interrupt me when I'm talking. Let me talk. Same with don't type when I'm talking. And I said, you know, the, the character was somewhat retarded. And they made fun of him in the Bugs Bunny cartoons and the Warner Brothers cartoon, which way did he go, George, and all of that. And uh, he was a very sad character, but he's in the movies, in the book. Yeah, petting the rabbits. Well, I don't agree with, I, you know, Sean Connery said that. I don't know if he said that as Sean Connery. I don't know if he said that as Bond. I will say one thing. I, there are times I wish I were uh, George Washington McClintock and good bad Kathy over my knee and paddle her ass because she's being bad. And she won't listen. And that has nothing to do with abuse of my girlfriend. That you're being bad woman and it's time to uh, try for you to get some corrective discipline. And there's probably times I need that too, but she couldn't bump me over her lap because the lap would be gone. It would be crushed. It would be there'd be nothing left of her legs. I'm too big. But the woman won't stop talking, and she won't behave. And so I have to put my foot down. Women are great people, but their times are annoying as hell, and we're probably annoying as hell to them as well. But uh, <laughs> Why would I put holes in the paddle? That would the the air would be deflected, and uh, you know it might it might uh, um, it might um, what's the word I want to use? Uh, defeat the purpose of the paddle. 
course, John Wayne didn't use a paddle. He used a coal scuttle, which really must have hurt. <laughs> I suspect they, in that big crinoline dress that Maureen O'Hara had, I suspect they had a pillow in there. But you heard this, I guess they must have put that as the sound of it. You heard when it hit hit her behind the clanging noise of, of the thing. So, no, I don't believe they should repeal the 19th Amendment. So don't, you, you act as if, you know, if you, if you, someone is being bad and they're your, uh, they're your, um, they're your significant other, your wife, or the other way around, your husband, your boyfriend, that they should, uh, they should never be criticized when they're doing something that's inappropriate behavior. Now, I'm not going to put Kathy or Bunny for real, but I've sure thought about it at times. Because there are times where I hang up on her. I'm not putting up with this crap anymore. I'm out of here. There are times where she gets mad and hangs up on me. We've done that for years. And one of us says something that makes the other one mad. But you know what? I always call back and apologize. And she apologizes. We've been together for 43 years, man, come man and boy, this Halloween. A lot of water under that bridge. Yo. And I put up a lot of aggravation from her, and she's put up a lot of it from me. But we still love each other. And anybody who says they, that we don't can go to hell. Uh, I have no idea what a Cam Newton is. What, what, what's Cam Newton? Who's Cam Newton? I have no clue. I know Fig Newton. <laughs> I've eaten enough of those over the years. Oh, and we don't allow this either. Uh, re reference to Kathy as a title. So not only am I going to remove that, but I'm going to remove that person as well. Came in with a comment on Kathy about Kathy not having any sex and it makes a woman angry. And then that to make the handle, look at the handle of the person. So they're not silicone. <laughs> Keeps complaining about her breasts being too big and they're hurting her back. They are definitely not silicone. I can attest to that. And I won't go into why I know the difference, but I do know the difference. And some silicones are softer than others. I'll just put it that way. And I knew Carol Dota, who's were silicone. Never got the feeling, but I, I saw them as close as you can get. And they were very painful for her because there were no implants when she got them. They injected silicone into the rest themselves and eventually that leaks and it turns like a rock and it's very painful and may she rest in peace. She was a very sweet lady. Well, we discussed the idea of sex, but why we're both too fat and we would both be exhausted if we tried because one of us would have to get on top of the other one and uh, <laughs> that would be the end of that. It's too hot, we're too fat, and it ain't going to happen. So it's really none of your business anyway. I don't do a podcast. I used to. I used to take these and um, republish them, but I stopped doing that. And I would love to do a podcast, but because of the trolls, I can't. I would love to have a call-in podcast. But the trolls would come in and uh, disrupt, the, disrupt the channel. And my personal, it's another rule. You don't discuss George and Kathy's personal sex life. It's none of your business. It should never be asked. I would not ask your sex life. It would never occur to me. 
I would I don't have the right to ask that because it is something you just don't do. And a woman's a woman's okay, I'm not gonna allow that one either. Uh you're out of here. Bye. And I, you got a picture of President Trump that it's denigrating. That's another reason you're out of here. This is a pro-President Trump channel. If you don't like Donald Trump, stay the hell out of here. You get bullied for wearing glasses, you get bullied for being awkward, you get bullied for being overweight, which I wasn't. I was scared of the, I was always hit with the ball and kick ball. <laughs> you know, kids pick, I read a lot and I got bullied for being a bookworm. Kids are mean. I had friends in school. But we all gravitated toward each other as a defense against the bullies. A lot of the bullies are jocks. They, yet it got to the point where after a while in some schools, they would come to me for help with their homework. And I said, you can leave me the hell alone? <laughs> I didn't know the word hell then, but yeah, I need help with my homework. Okay, but you have to promise to not bother me and tell your friends to get off my back. I'm getting tired of it. That's very good. No, but I couldn't fight with the damn unless I had a weapon in my hand. Or a van. I once stopped my chief bully at the private school. I drove a van about eight blocks and pinned him against the wall. He never bothered me again. I got out and I basically, if you ever bother me again, I'm going to kill you. Yo. I don't know if Terry Bradshaw was a bully and I'm not going to have, that, that goes into the uh, private personal life of Terry Bradshaw. We're not going to have this discussion, so... Oh, you got a Trump picture, too. What is with the Donald Trump pictures? So, uh, I'm not going to allow that. And that means you're a troll. Bye-bye. No Trump pictures. In oh, we have another one. Roy Chapman. I got rid of him. Yeah, okay. I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a leftist. I'm a, I'm a conservative who wants middle of the road if possible. No, no, no. They come in here and they start making comments like that. I'm not going to allow it. You look at the you look at the avatars. They don't look that one. It's got Trump making a face. It's got Trump with not even his real hair and he made a comment that was not acceptable so they do this all the time because they draw his attention to it and it's disgusting and despicable and reprehensible and deplorable if I dare to use the term used by Hillary Clinton We've discussed our sex life with ourselves, <laughs> and that's our business. I would not ask President Trump what the sex life was in Melania. It's not none of the people's business. Well, you don't know what... I'm not going to allow that comment either, because you don't know. Thank you for the support, but you don't know what... Kathy does or doesn't discuss and don't speculate. That is also private. I'm 68 years old, for God's sakes, and I don't have a hot first lady either. So. You know, Kathy's 64. Both of us have been put away wet too many times. Rode hard and put away wet. I'm not talking about sex. <laughs> Uh, okay, Jacob's Life in Las Vegas, live downtown Las Vegas, Saturday night. So he's now walking around Las Vegas live. He makes a lot of money. 
Well, I will say something. If you're 74 and get a good-looking woman in your life, and he's had a number of them, and you're rich, you're going to get women. If you're poor, you're not going to get the women. I have Kathy, and I'm very grateful, but... Uh, okay, not going to allow that either. And you're out of here. That was an anti-Trump comment from Paul Evans, who's never been in here before. Not gonna, that was hidden. I don't know how come some messages are hidden and some messages aren't. The man gets very little sleep. They said, the doctor today in the interview said that President Trump is working at midnight where other people be dropping. The man has the stamina, and I'm talking about sexual stamina. The man has the stamina, it's incredible. How he does it, I don't know. I couldn't do it. I'm up at 5.30 in the morning watching Nostradamus, but if I had to do real work, I couldn't do it. Too many physical problems for one thing. Now, I've watched Jacob's live in Vegas, and he gets sometimes $1,000 for the live chat. This is what I'm complaining about. Nine, nine years and a million views, I should be getting financial support for my viewers, period. All right, and with that, I'm going to go. i got to go feed the kitties. It's hot in here. I don't want to be sitting here with my clothes on much longer. And it's getting dark. The raccoons will be out. So I'm going to leave now. And uh, I will catch you next time. But no sexual discussion about my private life or my girlfriend is allowed in this channel. Don't do it again. You do it again, you're out. Bye-bye. This is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh. Stay wet, warm, dry, or cool as the case may be. Hopefully you're staying cool and dry and you've got a cool one in your hand. Have a great night, a great morning, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye for now. And next time, donate to the channel, which you should support anybody you watch, unless they're a troll. Bye-bye. Where is it? Here.